Hi, it's Heather. I'm a certified arborist in Bloomington, Indiana. And today I thought we'd talk about how to find an arborist. Um, I, I, I think um, looking for a tree person, unless like, you know, one of your neighbors has had tree work done or, um, you know, you might know someone who works with trees. Um, I think sometimes finding a professional in areas that we don't have a lot of experience in can be kind of daunting. Um, so I thought I'd mentioned a couple of tips. Um, the first one is um, there is a website called Trees Are Good. Dot org and um, this is put out uh, by the International Society of Arborists that's what ISA stands for um, that's also the organization that I have my certification through um, so they have this website and uh, there's a, a link on there uh, to just find an arborist. So basically it's just going to ask you uh, where you live and you punch your zip code in and it's going to come up with a list of ISA certified arborists. So in general, um, that's kind of the safest route to go. Um, also on that website, um, uh, there's some tree care basics because um, I think if you know if you've never had trees before um, or you know maybe you think some of yours are looking a little sketchy um, there's some good practices listed on that link and uh, then there's also some other helpful links on the page to just you know, talking about, you know, why trees need care and um, stuff like that. Um, so an, uh, another way to, to double check, uh, like, yeah, go ahead and um, double check anyone you find on um, ISA um, through Trees Are Good. Um, go look up their profiles or web pages and you know make sure they're uh you know trees after they're done pruning them look like trees or you know check to make sure that there's no complaints about damage um what was the other thing i was gonna tell you oh just um you know i I got into the habit of, you know, people are like, you know, who do you recommend for big trees? I typically don't really do big, big stuff. Um, but I have gotten, gone to checking um, to make sure that people I recommend don't uh, top trees. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit too. Um, but it, you know, I think it's important for arborists, um, you know, when someone asks them to top a tree, you know, as far as a, a property owner is concerned, they're looking to make a tree safer or shorter or, um, you know, less, less maintenance in the future. And, um, I really think that all arborists should be telling people, you know, that's not the appropriate thing to do. So, um, you know, just when you check check people's websites, um, make sure they they don't list topping as a service. Um, you know, because I I just I don't feel good about recommending anyone who does. So. Um, Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I would be wary of just using reviews. There's, there's a whole industry in pumping out fake reviews. So, you know, look for someone who's certified. 
try and find pictures of their work on their website and um, yeah and hopefully you know you'll you'll find someone who um, you can work with for a long time so anyway thanks um, hope you're having a great day and if you're seeing this um, why don't you like and maybe subscribe and that way we can reach some more people so and for those of you who've already subscribed oh I appreciate it you know more than I can tell you so thanks have a great day bye